Well, thank you, Andy. Coming up in the next week, Bill Harris introduces the third part in his four-week series based on 1 Chronicles 16. Ask yourself this question. Do you spend more time doing things for the Lord or spending time with the Lord? While both sides are important in the Christian life, one certainly outweighs the other. All right, Bill, well, we appreciate you coming back to visit us one more time. We're talking about a new series you have, and uh, we're going to break it down specifically. Mm -hmm. But first, the series itself is based off of 1 Chronicles. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. It's 1 Chronicles chapter 16, uh, verse 11. And uh, briefly, it deals with uh, David and the people of Israel bringing the Ark of the Covenant back into Israel after many, many years. And that is representative or symbolic of God's presence coming back. Mm -hmm. And so in the midst of that happening, songs break out and, and, and the like, and then comes that command to seek the Lord and his strength and yearn for and seek his face and to be in his presence continually. Can you imagine? That had to be an exciting time mm -hmm. when the presence of the Lord is coming back. And that verse does say, seek the Lord in his strength, yearn for and seek his face in, in his presence continually. Yeah. And that's kind of broken down into four areas, which are the four subjects that you focus on and you're getting ready to speak on the third area, which is face-to-face mm -hmm. -face with God, seeking yes. that relationship. And I use as a story, Zach, uh, Mary and Martha with mm. Jesus, and the fact that uh, Mary chose to sit at Jesus' feet and to listen to him. Martha was busy with all of the uh, serving and the like, and Martha was not a bad person. She had a wonderful heart. She welcomed Jesus and the disciples anytime they came. She was also courageous in the fact that while others were seeking to, to kill Jesus, they were seeking to take his life. It was unpopular hmm. to invite him into your home. And she did that. Yeah. But somehow she does, like many of us as Christians, we get so caught up in doing things for the Lord, we don't spend time with the Lord. Hmm. And that's where Mary shined more. Yeah. Well, that visual of sitting at Jesus' feet and essentially affectionately looking up and just listening and, and really basking in the presence mm -hmm. of the Lord. I've heard it talked about uh, different spiritual temperaments as well, mm -hmm. that, that Martha and Mary, you're right, not bad, but they just weren't exactly maybe sharing the same temperament. And that's almost the contemplative, the sitting there and just admiring the Lord, yes. which is exactly, you kind of break it down into their different characteristics, right? Yeah, they, they, as I said, Martha was very courageous and the like, and mm -hmm. she was very dutiful and wanting to serve the Lord. And we all should be that way. The difference with Mary is that if you notice in the scripture, it says, Martha says, she left me hmm. to go be with you, yeah. Lord. So she had a different perspective. Right. And we have to know that difference when it's time to leave the work and be with the right. Lord Jesus. She had a hunger for him. She hung on every word that he said, <laughs> and it made all the difference in her life. Right. So you talk about how it's not even really a choice. It's a requirement of yes. us to have this face-to-face -face yes. relationship. It is, and, it, and it, it leads up to the, the next sermon that I preach on this. It leads up to the connectedness that we must have with God. It is a requirement. It is a must in order to stay connected with God. We've got to have that one-on-one, face-to-face. -on -one, -face. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you, even in, in thinking about this subject, and I think a lot of people maybe would share this, it can be scary at first because I think face to face, I think up close and personal. Yes. I think vulnerable. Yes. I think wide <laughs> open. And those are a lot of scary All elements when you're things. talking about a relationship. But it, it's important, isn't it? It is. And here's the fact that the fact that you're making yourself vulnerable to the Lord because we are less than holy. He is mm. holy. But his his son died for this so that we could have that relationship. So the Bible tells us to come boldly. Now, yeah, we're humble in the whole process because yeah. after all, he is God. <laughs> but we come boldly in knowing that he treats us as a son or a daughter. Despite the frailties that we have, the, uh, the infirmities we have and the like, he loves us and wants us to be in his presence. We need to be in his presence because that's what will help us day to day to get through our mm -hmm. day. So let's talk about that specifically, tangibly. Um, maybe we find ourselves being on one side of the equation or the other, Mary or Martha, uh -huh. and maybe it's not our natural inclination to, to just sit there and, and sit at his feet. But how can we do that practically? How can we start to gain that relationship? In, in one part, I think using a good calendar to block out times mm -hmm. to be with the Lord, that's one thing. And also redirecting our mind, our thinking and our spirit to say, Lord, 
I've got 10 seconds. Sometimes I may have just seconds between clients in the office. Sure. And I'll take those seconds and just go directly up to heaven. I can do it just that quickly, and then I'm on to the next client. You know the Lord will honor that? Hmm. He knows when we, when we have responsibilities that must be taken care of, and he doesn't say, how come you're not spending an hour with me when, in fact, you don't have an hour? But then there are other times where if we're a morning person, if we get up a little early to spend that time with him, it, 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 it blesses. If we're a night owl and we spend a little bit of that time at night with him, it blesses us. Sure, sure. And so once we develop that, you mentioned it kind of leads into your, your next topic, which we'll cover here soon. But it almost opens the door for that constant connection with God. That Got we ahead. can rely on him daily for our strength. And I Absolutely. guess that, that's ultimately the goal, that we would be aligned with his spirit. That's right. And, and we were meant for that. The fact that God created a spirit, soul, and body, the spirit part of us, is designed to stay connected. Well, if you would like to hear more on this topic, as always, you can tune in with Update with Bill Harris, Thursdays at 9 a.m. and Sundays at 1.30, right here on TV44.